بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everybody uh, Today I will I would like to speak to talk about uh, distance uh, metric space but in very uh, special case in R square <coughs> So, the distance between the point, the origin 0, 0 and x, y is equal to uh, the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. The distance between the origin 0, 0 and a point and element x, y from L square is equal to the square root of x square plus y square. I will give you um, at the last uh, in more general case the distance infinity zero zero or maximum x y is equal to the maximum between the absolute value of x and the absolute value of y <laughs> so there, there, there are three uh, distance on s square and the question, uh, what is the sharp of the, uh, the unit circle or the unit uh, disk? So by definition, we define the disk. So the disk, for the first distance, <coughs> centered at zero, zero, to x y less than or equal to one. <coughs> so this one, this one, is equal is equal to point x y from l square such that the distance this distance is less than or equal 1 such that what this distance is less than or equal 1 so this means that the absolute value of the absolute value is less than or equal to 1 <coughs> if we take the plane this is 1 and 1 minus 1 and minus 1 <coughs> so <coughs> sorry in this quadrant we have the absolute x is equal to x the absolute uh, value of y is equal to y so we have x plus we have x plus y less than or equal to in this place we have minus x plus y less than or equal to 1. In this place, we have x minus y less than or equal to 1. And here we have minus x minus y less than or equal to 1. <coughs> but to uh, be able to, um, to deal with the sharp, what we can use, we can use equality. So x plus y is equal to 1. So we have a line. We, we make the line. Here we have minus x plus y equal to 1. So we have a second line. And so um, similar for this quadrant and similar for this quadrant. x minus y equal to 1. Minus x minus y equal to 1. And so. But if we take this, we just try with this one uh, to understand. We take equal. <coughs> if we take if we take x x plus y equal to 1 so y is equal to 1 minus x so y is equal to 1 minus x when x equal to 1 y equal to 0 and when x equal um, to 0 y equal to 1 and here we have the line the same manner we have the line here we have here and we have here from this side 
it is equal less than or equal to one. From this side, it is less than or equal to one. From this side is less than or equal to one. And from this side is, it, is less than or equal to one. So the, the disk is this one. This is the disk. The disk, so I will clean all this to get places for the next. For the second, it's, uh, it's uh, classic the Zul. This is x, y from s square such that what such that the square root of x square plus y square less than or equal to one so we can take the square of both of them <coughs> and we will keep that and this is the uh, the uh, relation parametric relation to a, a circle so we have the disk so we use the polar coordinate for example so this is the disk B2, the unit disk B2. This is the disk disk B1, and it remains the third one. The third one, so the disk the disk for D infinity zero zero x y this is equal to x y from s square such that the maximum the maximum between the absolute value of x and the absolute value <coughs> is taken <coughs> so if we consider uh, sorry less than or equal to one so in the first quadrant, we have x and y. So for this, this is the line y equal to x. So if we are here, if we are here, this means that the absolute value of x is greater than greater than y. So here, which means which means what? So in, in this in this uh, Person, x is greater than y here. Here, y is greater than x. So if we take the maximum, this means that here we are talking about x. It will be what? It will be the absolute value of x less than or equal 1. So the, the absolute value of x is equal to 1 to be able to uh, do the, the, um, the draw, the sharp. So this is this is x greater than, uh, than uh, the absolute value of y. It is equal to 1. This means this. And in this part is less than or equal to 1. But in this, in this piece, what we have? We have y. It is greater than x. So the maximum is y. And we have this. We do with the same ma manner to, uh, to, to, to this place the same manner using the same argument i will repeat for the one uh, at least if we are here if we are here we take this line and this is equal to x equal to minus x in this uh, in this part y is negative so so the maximum of uh, the absolute value of y when it is greater than the absolute value of x is minus y. Minus y equal to 1. This means that uh, y equal to minus 1. And in this, in this place, x is greater than, so we have this. And in this place, minus uh, y is greater than, so we have this, this piece, this line, this segment. So, 
this is the disk this is the disk for d infinity disk centered at zero zero uh, the disk infinity centered at zero zero and with uh, radius equal to to one uh, this one is centered at zero zero with radius equal to one and um, <coughs> and 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 this one so with a red color so we have three disc but just one this one uh, which is in a red color using this because we are in a uh, uh, Hilbert space Euclidean space uh, Hilbert space is uh, with dimension infinity dimension but Euclidean space with a uh, dimension uh, finite dimension just on this type of space where we can define where we can define inner product when we can define inner product the produce scalar just with the inner product we can define angles but if we have not inner product we cannot define angles in this case for the uh, unit disk in red we can define angle but not at all for this one neither for this one and they are disc we can generate them to balls but we cannot define angles so be uh, aware be um, uh, be advised that you cannot define angles if you have not inner product this will permit you to define angle so we are not able to define angle for any space or in uh, any distance mm, i think that uh, this is all what i i wanted to say today thank you very much see you next time